When watching the Overwatch League, viewers expect to see the best Overwatch players in the world competing against each other. By watching, we often look forward to seeing some of the best plays possible in the game of Overwatch. However, this is not always the case. Throughout the league's history, there have been several bad quality games in which different plays have left the viewers wondering if they were witnessing a flat spectating bronze player's video. They have no shield. I'm surprised Moomo I'm surprised Moomo didn't go for the shadow then while there was no shield oh, in Boston. Oh, drop it. Shadow oh, time! Shadow oh, time! Wait, they have wall! The team! What? He's gonna end! He's gonna end! He's gonna end! Wait, okay! Okay, 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 it doesn't matter. It's alright. I think I think they went well. Why? I think I just killed him. I just killed him. I just killed him. I just killed him. Join me here to commemorate the top 10 worst plays in the Overwatch League history. Before beginning, it is important to clarify that the plays are in no particular order, and no player should receive hate from this, as this video is only being done for entertainment purposes. Someone call ESEC! Someone call the Esports Commission! Integrity Commission! Get them online! What is that? Call the SBI! To start us off, in number 10 we have a quick and subtle play, which sadly ended up costing your team a lot in their playoff aspirations. During the 2021 playoffs, Violet, who is considered to be the best support player of all time by a lot of people, took a decision which led us all confused, as he decided to ego pick Kai of the Atlanta Reign at the beginning of the map in King's Row. Kai would not waste this chance and took the free kill which would turn the map completely in the favor of the Atlanta Reign as they just continued to snowball the shock from that pick. What makes this even more funny is how Brian and Saisho were just talking about how going with him at the beginning of the round barely worked these days, only to be proven wrong immediately. Kai will be looking for an early pick off if he can get it on the Widowmaker. I, I can't remember the last time we saw Kai actually get an early pick! Oh my god! Okay! Well, that, that is hubris from Violet trying to contest that early. Okay. They've just been gifted the best pick you could possibly ask for. From the shock, but it is a gorgeous kill. From Violet's point of view, though, there's simply no need, is there? I think Choi Obin's flying up top. Maybe they think they can get like a defense matrix yeah, and block the line of I sight. Don't I don't know. It just seems unnecessary. It's one. In number nine, we have a play that started the meme around Jimmy. During the 2021 June Just qualifiers, the Chengdu Hunters were facing off against the Philadelphia Fusion. In Dorado, we would see the Widow duel between Carpe and Jimmy, which would quickly turn into a clown fiesta when Jimmy decided to flank and miss all his shots, not once, but twice leading to a legendary reaction by Costa, and as such, a meme was created. Jimmy did not fuck that day. At the very end, the fusion have been able to hold their own despite Jimmy having that off angle for so long. No! Don't you fucking... Are you seriously gonna go flank through their spawn right now? Are you really, instead of taking the good angle of like having the look on the cart, helping your team clear the cart, this is what you're gonna go for. This better be the sickest thing that I've ever seen, Jimmy. This, if you're gonna do this, you need to kill one at least. Somebody tell me that Jimmy is not the problem on this map when he's not getting the headshots. Take the high ground. Just take the high ground. What is wrong with the high ground? I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. I'm actually gonna lose it. Somebody tell me, somebody tell me that Jimmy was not the problem in this map. For number 8, we're going back in time with a controversial play, but a classic one, by looking at the Nene graph. During the 2019 season, NYXL was one of the top teams in the Gold's meta and were thought to be serious contenders for that stage title. However, during the match against the Soul Dynasty, a play sealed their fate, as Nene tried to press where Michelle Sombra would be located while on stealth and grab him out to stop Michelle's CMP. Unfortunately, 
This attempt of a big break play did not work and ended up costing Enrique Excel a hard upset defeat against the dynasty. For the behind the grab, not there for Fleta. They can still make this work, but it's going to be in overtime. As they work their way forward. Oh, what, the what, the what, the what, what was that? He eats it away. Right side. It doesn't do jack. Mekko throws a bomb to the back of this play. Trying to find something. Well, the EMP comes in. For the, shatter. them. the shatter's absolutely huge. Jonah like, trying to keep him alive. And now we'll get picked in the end of the second round. Now the answering grab go through. OT going to be ticking down. And they've actually done it. Nene chokes at the final hour. Throws the grab off to the side. And Dynasty say thank you very much. We're going to the semis. Unbelievable. Now we're going back to the 2021 season for the June Joust qualifiers between the Houston Outlaws and the Florida Mayhem, in which we saw the return of Jake playing Junkrat on Anubis. During this map, once Jake got tired, all the Florida players were hiding in a safe position, until BQB inexplicably decided to shoot the tire when Jake hadn't seen him, leading Jake to quickly turn around and kill him and Gangnam him at the same time. That rip tire can definitely get at least a kill. What's Jake looking for here though? They see me rolling. Okay, the gets it. Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, wow, he gets two. That's huge. Look at the patience as well. Why they shoot? You know, they were yeah. So it they're is. in this corner most of the time. Yeah, because I, I was looking at the map. I was like, where are these players? The tires on the other side of the wall. They don't see it. Like Jake, Jake does right over this wall and does not see it. And then he starts shooting at it right there. Oh. He starts shooting at it. He turns around. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah, that they totally gave up their position there. I mean, maybe he thought he could finish the tire oh. off before. But yeah, no, they, they were hiding there for so long. The tire rolled right by them. He, he did not see them until the fire came out. In number six, we have more than one play, as this can be considered the worst team fight in the league's history. During the Ghost meta, the Justice and Spitfire were battling out on stage one in a match that featured two teams that were not really good at GOATs. This got proved when we saw a fight in which 16 ultimates were used before someone died. Truly the best definition of how GOATs played out. Maximum pressure to gesture. He will be able to back off in time, however, the rally thrown in by Prophet. Aguido's gonna cancel that out with a trance of his own, trying to buy time for his teammates to get those support ultimates online. And now it's just a standoff. Who's gonna crack first? That's Bird Ring's time to shine. He's gonna get that grab on several words of follow up there. It is not quite there. This is reminiscent of how London lost fights earlier. Just no follow up on their big ultimates. Fury's gonna actually toss it in and Eats, actually, Fury eats Corey's grab. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's big. Grab gets eaten for the justice, so no big follow up there. But Genesis still got his trance. But he's got the shatter as well. Throws that out. Doesn't find a target. Doshin already had the trance going, so he doesn't care. He's keeping everybody topped up. Self destruct thrown over the top, and it could find one. No, the shield is up for Janus. And this is just still the standoff between both of these teams. But London with that sound barrier looking to end this fight. Got Shatter. Such sustain. There's no no one is dying anywhere on this. Bird Ring's got another grab. The second end of the fight. Gonna catch several again. Follow-up still not quite there. Transcendence able to keep him alive. And now finally someone dies. And it happens to be Prophet. Ooh, the big wipeout. Washington, they held it for so long. The win is instant. And Washington Justice take the lead over the London Spitfire. For number 5, we are once again looking at the famous Toilet Bowl, an entire match that could be showcased in this video and everyone would agree. As we saw in the introduction of the video, Muma made some egregious feeling at times during this match, but the play that everyone remembers is simply Jerry jumping to his death while trying to escape a blizzard, a true classic of the Overwatch League. It's falling very, very, very low. Self destruct to the back like Jerry! 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 He tried to make the moves! Jerry! Oh my word, he falls to his death! The counter charge by Mooma! And Houston are gonna hold on! Jerry, Jerry, Jerry! Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. When talking about Pine, people usually think about one of the most entertaining Widowmaker players in the league's history. Nevertheless, people often forget the moments in which Pine would throw away maps for NYXL with plays such as flanking on Gibraltar against the LA Ballion, similarly to Jimmy. What is funny is that he would attempt the same play three times in a row, failing in all of them. Space gets mono though, so it looks like it may not work out. That was sick though. It could have worked though. It could have worked. Why, why wouldn't it? Nope. He's going to go up top instead. Yeah, the Inversight was there, so it's going to be less surprising. Who does this? <laughs> Who actually does this? See, that's why you don't do that. <laughs> They're going to do it again. <laughs> I, love, I love this. It may not actually work, but I love watching it. Here we go. Oh, that's so sick. 
Oh, oh crouch it. Uh, depends on it. Kill the support spine. <laughs> oh, oh, the, oh, oh we no. got one. Oh, it's a problem. Pops that infrasight, but he's getting hit with a hammer. Gets away, though. Fine makes it. Does come at the cost of Mecco's life, though. It, it does. During the 2021 May Melee match between the Florida Mayhem and the Shanghai Dragons, the Florida Mayhem looked like they had a real chance of upsetting Shanghai after full holding them on first point Gibraltar and having a Graf Pulse Bomb combo to seal the map on the last fight of their attack. Unfortunately, Gargo and Jackie were not in the same page at all, as in the last fight they not only went for different targets with their ultimates, but also both the Graf and the Pulse Bomb were unable to catch anyone, leading to a Shanghai Fuller Hold and a morale boost for the Dragons which led them to victory. Grab Pulse Bomb, Brent. That's what I'm looking at here. That is the huge team oh. fight winner. What? Okay. What? Oh, okay. The both There's ultimates the whiffed. Bomb. Yeah, and it's a big whiff now from the Florida Mayhem. I actually don't believe we've just seen that. Wasting both of those ultimates. It's disjointed. Another Nana Boost, the last ditch effort. 37 seconds remaining for the Florida Mayhem to get this attack going. I don't know why they're using the Nana Boost in this situation either, it just doesn't seem winnable. I did not want to include any C9s in this list, as I am planning on doing a video specifically about C9s in the future. But come on, this is such a funny moment that I had to include it, and since it happened on push, I'm not sure if we can call this a C9 in its entire definition. During last seasons, Titans had not been able to win a match yet, and looked like they were on their way to upset a disappointing Justice squad, until in map 5 this happened. That's kind of what you're looking at here. You're going to have to get on and contest, though. They're going to touch. There's a oh, no! Oh, come on! You can't be serious! The, the butt scratch does not activate there. In... Oh, my... The... No. What? What in the world? Immediately, they have to contest. Oh. Pulse doesn't respond. Oh, God. Denied available. The most useless salt in the game. They have to, they have to contest? They have to touch. They have to contest. They have to contest. Have to you <laughs> fucking morons! The best way to fucking win! The best possible way! Yeah! I can't believe it. I, I called it. I, I, I actually it. can't believe it. There's no way that is how they lose. There's no shot. That's how they lose this match. I did. To finish this video, we will look at some of the questionable EMPs Assassin had during his time in the Washington Justice, as he developed a new meme for the community and also gave us one of the best caster moments in the league's history. Before jumping into that though, just wanted to quickly remind you to subscribe and give a like if you enjoyed this video, as I am planning on doing more lists and content around the Overwatch League and the game in general. Leave any feedback in the comments as well, since I am still trying to find a style that is enjoyable for both viewers and me. That's all, and thank you so much for watching. Assassin is just looking for the perfect target right now. Eventually, Crimzo did it. Go. It connects though, and look at that. Crimzo has the transcendence to keep his team up and in this fight. The neutral hat comes through, and Dante's back in the action. It's like we're looking at the yeah. Washington Justice in their first year. It really is. It feels like this team has not gotten out of the same rut despite upgrading a bunch of their players. Here we go. EMP catches no one. Zero man EMP. Zero man EMP from Assassin. I mean, if that's not just spelling defeat, I don't know what is. Decay goes down, that's happy, just securing that one. Dante's just giving the beat down to all of them. 78% in counting. They are falling over. Da Jonathan Dante's Larson talking in, in the chat. Nice <laughs> meme MP, EMP. I mean, this is not only... It's just been found out. 10 seconds remaining. They're waiting for the EMP engage, but no one's in position. Uh, Sutter goes down. Uh, assassin! Assassin! Uh, assassin. Uh, assassin. Uh, Someone call ESIC! Someone call the Esports Commission! <laughs> Integrity Commission! Get him online! What is that? <laughs> call the SBI! What is going on? <laughs> <laughs>